to let me let me have your filled tables multiple tables of a and b okay this table a this table b now today we are going to work with these tables and you know what we are going to have your own collection of factors from 2 to 100 it will be your own very list of factors we are going to use this sheet you can see we have one all the way to 50 and then here we have 51 all the way to 100 so we are going to start with the first sheet you are using your table do you want to you, you can choose a number here any number from 1 to 50 what number do you want to choose 24 24 okay so we'll look at your table here and see where we have 24 to find the various slots where we have 24 so let's check where do you have 24 2 times 12 2 times 12 24 okay so write that down here put a comma where again can we find 24 3 times 8 24. So, so write that combination Where again can you find 24? Where else can you find 24? 4 times 6. Go ahead and write that. Is there any other place you can find 24? Is there any other place you can find 24? 8 times 3. Write that down. Is there any, any other place you can find 24? 24. Okay. So which other number do you want to choose now? 12. Okay. So let's look at the various combinations of 12 we have. Where can you find 12? 2 times 6. Write that down. Where again can you find 12? Mm. 3 times 4. Write it down. Where else? Four times three. Write it down. Where else can you find twelve? Six times two. Write it down. Where else can you find twelve? Find two. Okay. Okay. Now, what about if you choose a number like three? Check. Where can we find three? Let's choose this number. Let's check our table. Three 
three times one. Three times one. Any number times one, we don't need to choose that number. Okay? Let's see if we can get another combination where we can find three. Check. Any number can be times one. Okay? So, let's look for another combination. Let's see if we can see any other combination where we have three as the answer. Can't find any other one. Yes. Okay. You can underline three. That means three is a prime number. Underline three. It's red. Okay. So continue. Choose any other number and continue to work. Forty-six. Okay. So you can continue. So Timon, when you finish filling your table here finding the different multiples of numbers from 2 to 100 okay once you finish filling these forms can use this this is the control of error you use this to check your answer to make sure that you filled your table correctly wow timini you can see what you've done Good. What do you notice here? You can see that there are some numbers that have lots and lots of combinations. Yes. Look at this. 30. You can see different combinations. 48. Yes. 48. You can see as a number of combinations. There are some numbers that have just few combinations, like 46. Just this one. Well, then there are some. And which one? 25. 25. Yeah, you can see just a few ones. But there are even some that don't have combinations at all. Can you give examples? 17. 17. No combination. And you underline that with red. Yes. And 19 too. No combination. So all these ones you've underlined using your red pen. That don't have combinations at all. We call those numbers prime numbers. Prime numbers? Yes, they are the prime numbers. All the ones you underline in red that don't have combinations at all. We call them prime numbers. You can see all the prime numbers from 1 to 100.